Welcome back to our evolution unit. So far, we've learned about three big ideas. One, geologic time. The Earth is really, really old, and scientists divide the time into different eras. Two, the law of superposition. The idea that the lower you dig, the older rocks are, and so the lower you find a fossil, the older it is. And three, comparative anatomy. When scientists compare the bodies and the functions of different animals to learn about their ancestors. We learned about homologous structures, which have the same anatomy or the same bone structures, but different functions. For example, humans use their hands very different than a cat uses their hands. And analogous structures. These have different anatomy. Notice the bones here are very different but the same function. So to summarize, our three important ideas are geologic time, law of superposition, and comparative anatomy. Here's some important vocabulary you'll need for today. Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin was a scientist and he was one of the first people to talk about evolution. Fossil record. The fossil record is the record of all of the fossils that paleontologists and scientists have found common ancestor. For example, the cat, skunk, otter, and dogs all evolved from the same common ancestor. Today we will compare similar structures on different living things, that's comparative anatomy, and we will write a claim with supporting evidence that supports the theory of evolution using comparative anatomy, and finally we'll create a list of important vocabulary words for our unit. Next, you'll write what are the three important ideas that we reviewed in this video. Geologic time, law of superposition, and comparative anatomy. Today's first activity asks you to look at the hock bone on a horse's back leg and find what bone it compares to in a human. Hint, they're both green. What does this tell you about if we have a common ancestor? Next, you'll watch a nine and a half video about Charles Darwin and evolution. You'll answer three questions about the video. Then, you'll make a claim and support it with evidence. Look at these three leg bones of a bear, dog, and horse, and make a claim about which two living things are more closely related, and give your evidence. You can type your answers in the fill in the blanks here for your claim, and for your evidence, you'll have to write a few sentences to support your claim. Finally, you'll start a vocabulary journal. You can do this in a Google Doc, or you can handwrite them in a notebook, but it will be important for you to keep track of your vocabulary throughout the unit. Here are the words you need to copy into your vocabulary journal. Don't forget to reflect on your learning targets and share and discuss in Google Classroom what is one question you have about evolution or comparative anatomy after today's lesson. There's also an optional extension to watch another cool video about evidence for evolution.